Biggin, biggin. How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. I am in Southwest Ohio looking for a creek to fish. The river's completely blown out, the Great Miami. So I'm looking for tributaries, looking for water that's not been destroyed from the previous couple, couple rains they had down here. Came down here to visit some family for Easter tomorrow. This is Saturday before that, and we're going to go try to get my first bait casting creek smally with my new combo that I just got. So we're going to prowl some creeks, might even go to the river if I can find a tributary mouth that is pushing some cleanish water into the river. That can that can really create a deadly situation for some smallmouth, some saw guy, all kinds of stuff that's in the river. But the key is to try to find the creeks and stuff that aren't completely destroyed. I found one today, so we're going to go Prowl this little creek, do a little adventure here. We might even go hit the Great Miami River, so stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch the smallmouth on my bait caster and also be throwing some Nico leeches and crawls in the creeks. <gasps> Let's go! All right, on today's expedition, we got two rods. I got my bait caster again, my 734 Caden Series Dobbins rod. It's a crankbait topwater rod, medium, moderate, fast action. Perfect little rod to throw a little stuff that I like to pitch in the creeks and rivers but i got it paired up with an underspin i'll start out with that might even go to some jerk baits later on or some little crank baits to go in the creek i got the die with the tula 100 hsl 7 to 1 paired up with that hopefully get my first creek smally on my new bait casting combo i'm also going to obviously bring my spinning gear my 2500 die with kage paired up with a die with the tula spinning rod 610 medium extra fast action be throwing leeches and helgramites on this one so let's give it a shot today. The river's blown out here in Southern Ohio, but I found a couple creeks that aren't terrible. I'm gonna tie on a little Mega Bass Spark Shad. This is a little three inch minnow profile I've been doing pretty good recently with. Just on a little tungsten ball head jig, 3 16th ounce. Just kind of burn this through these little eddies and stuff. The water's, like I said earlier, the water's stained. So hopefully this white will make it stand out and we'll get bit. Hooked up. Could this be my first creek, Smalley? On oh, my bait caster, it is. Yes. <laughs> it's a chunky one, too. Let's go. Let's freaking go. There we go. First one on my bait caster. Heck yeah. He freaking choked that little swim bait. Look munched it all right let's get a release on this chunky little creek smally heck yeah i'll take this especially where i'm at right now the river is completely blown out i was gonna go fish it today but the creeks are not horrible so figured i'd give it a shot and got my first uh creek smally soak us get us wet why don't you Hooked up. It's a good small. Let's freaking go. It's a nice chunk. All right, let's get a release on this beautiful GMR smally. Probably a nice 14, 14 and a half incher. It's a nice chunky one. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. All right, let's throw in a little jerk bait down here at the river. This is a little um, Lucky Craft Pointer SP 78 millimeters, I believe. 
It's like a three and a half inch jerk bait. Perfect little emerald shiner imitation. So we'll give this a shot and see if they're willing to eat it. Biggin, biggin. Let's freaking go. Let's go. <laughs> That's a chunky one. Let's get a measure on it and let it go. That's a solid 16, I bet. Eh, maybe not. Yep, it's 16 on the nose. 16 inch, or he absolutely crushed that jerk bait. Release on this beauty. Look how thick that fish is. Just absolutely crushed that jerk bait. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There you go, buddy. Let's go. All right, we're having a good time with the jerk bait, but I'm gonna try something else while I'm down here. Just to see what's going on. I'm trying to feel my way around the river right now. This is a little flicker shad, 5M. It's a nice, awesome, natural shad color. It's like a purple and blue. Shiny little crankbait, so we'll dredge this around here on this lip. See if we can't get bit. Biggin, 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 biggin. Right, they're on the flicker shad. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost him. There we go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Hooked up. Oh, hello. Mr. Largy. Yeah. That's a large mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you don't catch those too often in here, huh? Is that jerk bait? Yeah. Yeah. They're smoking on the paws. All right, the creek today is kind of up, a little bit stained. We have about 10 to 12 inches of visibility. So in these circumstances, I always like to throw like a really dark color. You can use the obsidian leech or the eclipse leech that's got the little orange tail. But we'll throw the uh, obsidian leech to see if we can't pick up a smallie. Nice creek smallie. Nice creek smallie. Chill out, buddy. Check that out. Nice. Buddy. Hooked up. It's like a good fish. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Creek giant. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Check that one out. Holy smokes. <laughs> that is a straight pig. Right there on the obsidian leech. 
I love this color in stained water, folks. Get these obsidians or the eclipse. Look at that right through the bottom lip, too. He wasn't going nowhere. Jeez, what a freaking football. Unreal. A beautiful day. The day before Easter. Out here looking at these beautiful smallies. Look at the colors. That's a two and a half pounder. 16 inches, but look how thick. Look at this belly. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Right there on the obsidian leech. It's biting me. Let's get a release on him. <laughs> Let's go! We got here another nice creek smallie. Freaking hammering him today. Hope he's barely hooked. Chill out, buddy. Look at that. Insane. Insane today. Another 12 incher. Here you go, buddy. That leech is just doing work. Hooked up. What was that? Do we have a giant smallmouth? Oh my gosh, we do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that freaking tank. Oh my. On that little haze dong, or not the haze dong, the little spark shad. Dude, that might be my first fish Ohio or close to it. Let's wash it off and get it on the board. I'm gonna slip in the river here. What a freaking tank. Nope. It's not a fish Ohio, but 17. What a freaking tank. That's a GMR smallie right there. It's probably pushing three pounds. Let's get it released to where I don't fall in the river. That would be cool. What a way to end the day. 17 inch GMR Smalley. There he goes. Let's go! Wow. What a freaking day today. The day before Easter, come down to, to Southwest Ohio, go fish the Great Miami River, go fish some creeks in the area and just come away with some absolute units of some fish. If you can take away anything from this video, always fish your creek mouse when the river is flooded and chocolate milk. Those fish like to hide out and that murky to clearish water transition, they kind of use that as cover and ambush prey. And that's where I caught a lot of my fish today. I also caught them in the creek as well. The creeks weren't terrible down here, but they were up, they were up. But the, the, fish, the fish were hungry. I caught a fish on a swim bait. I caught fish on crank bait. I caught fish on a jerk bait. All of which are my firsts on my casting combo that I got. And it's turning into an awesome little combo that I set up. And it's jerk, using a jerk bait or some hard baits with that rod and reel combo, it just feels so right. And the sensitivity and the way you can load up into fish, it's, it's insane. I've been missing out a lot on my life and I'm glad I've got that combo now and start tinkering around with some bait casting stuff because it's really an awesome tool to have. But the Creek Smallies were on fire. The Nico Leech, the Obsidian Leech. That's one of my favorite colors to throw in like a stained water situation. The water's kind of up, but it's going down from the recent rains. The Obsidian color is money, 
money. So is the Eclipse. But in those situations, that's just, it's deadly. Dragging that on the bottom, those little owner finesse hooks just bouncing off rocks, tick, 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 tick. And then you'll just feel that small mouth, just hammer it. It was awesome. It was an awesome day. I couldn't ask for much more. If you'd like to get some Waterlands, use code CRAWLER15 on their website. Save 15% off everything in their everything on their website, online. You can use code CRAWLER10 on the Nico Bates website to save 10% off. If you want to get some leeches, Helgramites, crawls, winnows of that nature, you've seen their lethality today. And I, I've, I've just been doing so much work with that little leech, and it's really become... It's, I don't want to say it, but between the Helgramite and Leech, it's a, it's a battle between those two as my favorite little soft plastic bait to throw in the creeks and rivers. I believe Vance Outdoors, Vance Outdoors in Hebron and Lebanon should have those Nico Leeches in stock. So y'all can go get them if you don't want to order them online, support local businesses. It was just a phenomenal day. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!